Hello and welcome to First Look, I'm Young John. Today we have a cool toy by Zing. This is called the ClickBot. It says click, animate and share. Uh, this is the Studio Pack Thud. It's not just a toy. This is stop motion animation. They give you a piece of software, okay? And uh, you can make your own movie out of this. This is like a storytelling mechanism, which is very cool. I've never seen that in a toy before. So if you look at the box itself, this is combined with creatures. So basically you have a guy right here and then you have armor and you can combine it to form a creature. If we look at the back, it says combine creatures to create modulus. It looks like you can collect different kinds here, right? There's uh, the red one, which we have here, and they have different ones. There's a green guy, and then there's an orange guy. They have different parts and pieces that form into different little monsters. So let's open this guy up. I'm gonna grab my trusty knife. This is for ages five and up, but the knife should not be in the hands of a youngster, okay? So you might want to get someone older to do this or just pull on the tape if you really want, but I'm a lazy guy. So I'm just gonna do that. When we open up this toy here, and that's it. We have an instruction manual. It tells you how to put the pieces together here. The second looks like a background. So you can use this as a backdrop when you tell your story. And this is the toy. Here's the main character. You have Mr. Red here. Fits in the palm of your hand, as you can see. He's got his gun in his hand. He's got a shield. And it moves around. You have extra pieces, extra hands, extra legs, other parts. And this is interesting. Uh, this is a holder for your cell phone. So you download an app, you put it in this cell phone holder here and you can do your stop motion video. Now that should be a lot of fun, but I also know that stop motion isn't the easiest thing to do, so you might have to get used to uh, making one, but it should be cool and fun. So I've laid all the pieces out and pulled open that plastic bag. You have one, two, three, five, six, seven pieces that are the same here, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces total, and before you make the scorpion here, you might want to group it together just to make it easier to follow. So I'm going to follow the instructions and make this guy. And you need to put this in here, I think, like that. And the other one goes in this way, like that. This is very good if you're into puzzles or if your kid is into puzzles. I have a feeling this is just as challenging for adults as it is for the kids. That goes up. So I'm done making this scorpion here and to make the head and the tail, you had to pull out the <laughs> parts from this poor guy's hand. So basically now the shield and the gun is on top of this guy. So we now have to replace his arms er, er, with either hands or suction cups. So I'm gonna replace it with hands like this. And now he looks like a full human again. Look at that. Now these guys are called click bots because it clicks. It basically lets you move in many, many different variations. So you have whole arms moving like this, and you can even have, there we go, movement like that. The head moves, they turn left and right, they nod up and down, even go backwards like that. And then the body like goes up and down if you wanna do like, oh, I don't know, if you wanna touch your toes like that, you see, like that. Um, or if you're doing yoga, maybe you're um, on the ground doing this. You can sit like this. If you're trapped by your enemy and you're kind of sitting on the floor, you know, like that, you're hugging your knees and you're like, help me out, I'm trapped like that. You know, you can do, it has so much range and motion. It's really incredible. And on the bottom of his feet, he's got like, suction cups there so you can put him against like a table or like a glass window and pretend like he's
climbing up like, you know, a glass tower even. If we look at the robot here, it also has a whole range of motion. It can move the legs like forward and back, up and down, even the head. It can look at you. It can look ahead. It can go hoof. It can go, no, I don't want to. And if you look from above, the legs can move like that. Ah, this happens. The legs on the front and the back come off a little bit too easily for me. Uh, this is something you have to keep in mind when you're playing with stop motion animation because you're gonna have to be extremely careful when you move stuff because you're doing frame by frame. But since this is sitting on the ground like this, it should be okay as long as you're not too rough with it, you know? So, you know, your front leg is moving up, your back leg is moving back, there you go. And then this is coming back and forth. And you know, this works pretty well. And that is your blue creature. So now you know our two main characters, we're gonna download that Zing software and use this kind of backdrop uh, and make a story out of it. And we're gonna use this phone holder here to kind of act as a tripod. The software is called Zing Studio. You can go on uh, Google Play and download that on your phone. And I'm going to start that up. And you can see Zing Studios here. What we wanna do is create a movie. And it's in video mode. That looks good. So we begin this story with this guy over here. Take a shot. And he wonders, what is this? Turns his head. Turns his head some more. And then he starts to turn. Turn away again. Now he's gonna start walking. Away. Arr. Now stop motion isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. It takes a lot of patience. And the reason why it's doing away is because there is somebody following him. Now you can see a little ghosting image of the previous move that you had, of the previous picture, which is pretty cool. And this animation is done. We'll press this one. Your movie has been saved, okay. Let's take a look at this. If we play back this movie, play. Oh, he's walking. He's like, oh, something's following me. Oh, oh, ah, where'd he go? Huh, I don't know, huh. Oh well. <laughs> you can also add music to this thing or make your own sounds by going to this add music button right on the right side, add sound effects. And on the bottom here, you can select a kind of music and you have a whole bunch here, as you can see and you press the sound button here. To see what you're getting. But you do have to be careful because I think you can only add audio to it one time. So I like this one here. It's five seconds long. So we're just gonna add this one. Instead of pressing on the audio, I'm just gonna press on that. And it should add it to this. I'm gonna play this back. And then he went away. Huh. I don't know what happened. Oh well. <laughs> and that's it. You notice here you can't add the audio anymore because you've already added it here. Once you do it, that's it. You can go back 
And you can also create photos too. And not just take a picture, but let's try this out. Okay, picture mode. And we're gonna go really close. Take a snap. And there it is, let's use it. We'll tap this cog wheel and go into this picture gallery. It has all your movies and the pictures. This is the picture we just took. We can download it, we can edit or delete it. We're gonna edit this guy. And here we can put titles, the double T, and we can write uh, red guy and his blue friends. Friend. There we go. And we're done typing. We'll change the color to red because he's a red guy. And then we'll make the size larger. How about, yeah, that's good. We'll make it that large. You can choose the font if you want. We'll make it kind of fun. We chose generous. Press that check button. And now we have a title. There's a little face here that you can tap. And then you can put little hats and eyes and stuff. So we have a little hat for that guy. We can add, well, the scorpion guy doesn't have eyes, so let's just add some eyes. We'll make the eyes a little bit smaller. <laughs> we'll add something else with color. You have so much choice here. I mean, look at this. There's so much. You know what? I think we'll use a face. Oink, oink. There we go. We'll move the eyes away, and we'll add the little piggy's face. Maybe the piggy has eyes. Uh, but the pig is in front of the eyes, so you can't see. So what we're going to do is put that behind the eyes, and you can do that by selecting front or back. I'm going to put this behind. There we go. And now we have a pig with big eyes in the front. <laughs> so this is foreground and background, and I'm going to add one more thing. We're going to put a blue tie. There we go. Put that tie on him like that. Tie's a little big. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. And there. So this is the final picture. We'll save this one. We're going to go back like that. Your picture has been saved. And if you look in your gallery, here's the saved picture. So it doesn't look like it's aligned correctly. So I'm going to go back to edit and shift it over a little bit. And then we'll see what happens. We'll go back. Picture's been saved. Tap on that. And there we go. And that is the software, Zing Studio. You can make stop motion animation, you can have fun with pictures, you can do a whole bunch of things, in addition to playing around with these guys with stop motion animation. Woohoo! Tom, 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 tom. Ta da! So that's pretty much what you can do in this studio pack. You get your robot, you get your robot's friend, and you can create stop motion movies and play around with photos. Thank you very much for watching our look into Zing's ClickBots. This is the Studio Pack Thud, T-H-U-D. We'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes in case you're interested in looking for prices. And if you haven't done so already, please take a minute to subscribe to the First Look YouTube channel. We shall see you all again next time.